Let's attempt to approximate the area under the curve y equals x squared between x equals 2 and x equals 5 using right hand sums with 6 subdivisions. So as we take a look at this, let's first go ahead and think about, I've given you the graph here so we can take a visual look at it, exactly what's going to happen. We're looking at x values of 2 through 5. Alright, so all the area under the curve between these two x values. Let's first go ahead and say we have six subdivisions, so let's split this up evenly. So if I go 5 minus 2, that's a total of three units that's going to be covered from left to right. But we have to divide this up six ways. So if I divide that six ways, that tells us that each one of these is going to be a half a unit wide. All right, next, because we're talking about right-hand sums, what that means is we start at the right-hand side, at 5 in our case. We're going to go ahead and go all the way up to our curve. And then we're going to go to the left from there, a half a unit wide. So a half a unit over here. And draw myself a, cur a uh, nice box going down here. The goal is we are going to calculate the area of this rectangle. So the area of the rectangle, it'll be a half a unit wide, and then the height is going to be whenever we plug 5 into our function. So I'm using function notation to go along with this, um, thinking f of x indicates the same thing as our y value, like length times width or base times height. Now the next one, we're going to continue drawing more subdivisions here, is going to start at 4.5, 4.5, we're going to go up to the curve, and go over a half a unit and back down for our next rectangle. Again, half a unit wide. The height is going to be given by when we plug four and a half into our function. Now we're going to continue doing this. The next one's going to start go up at four over half a unit and back down. So one half times f of four. The next one is when we plug three and a half in up to three and a half over the next one is going to be at three and I know this is a little bit time-consuming as we go through it but it's not hard work it's just time-consuming so that was three and finally we go at two and a half over that takes us to two and down all right now you may notice that we did not plug in two because if we were to plug in 2, it would be going up here to the left, and that takes us outside of the range that we're looking for between 2 and 5. So we're not going to make this extra box at the very end here, because it takes us outside of the between 2 and 5 um, for our x values and our right-hand sums. Now 2 would be used if we were doing left-hand sums. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and do these calculations. So this area is one half times when we plug five into our function because our function is x squared that's going to be five squared then one half four and a half squared one half times four squared one half times three and a half squared one half times three squared one half times two and a half squared now you may notice that all of these have one-halves being multiplied as part of them. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and factor out that one-half so that we can just say one-half is going to get multiplied by 5 squared plus 4 and a half squared plus 4 squared and so on. Now you may say to yourself, okay, well I can do 5 squared as 25. Some of these others are going to be a little bit more difficult. We'll get the calculator out and maybe help us out. Um, four and a half squared is 20.25. Four squared is 16. Three and a half squared is 12.25. Three squared is nine. And two and a half squared is 6.25. Now if I add together what's inside of our parentheses, we end up with 88.75. If we take half of that, we get 44. 0.375. All right, hope this makes sense as we're working through trying to do these Riemann sums, um, splitting up into a given number of subdivisions. Um, really, it's just calculating the area of a bunch of 
rectangles, right? But finding those heights is difficult, even if you don't have a graph. Hopefully we can kind of visualize what's going on with this, and hopefully this helps you out. Good luck.